as the Hong Kong protests enter the 13th week, we've seen the effect of the protests on the aviation industry of the city with the shutdown of the airport and the mass delays and cancellations of flights, which have heavily affected the hometown airline of Cathay Pacific, which has seen some of its own employees join the ranks of the protesters, much to the ire of Beijing. This has led Chinese authorities to impose sanctions such as the requirement for Cathay Pacific to send flight crew information before a flight departs, especially for those flights departing and using Chinese airspace. With the restrictions imposed by Chinese authorities, the airline has drawn a line for any staff and employees of Cathay Pacific for any support of the protest. On August 12th, Cathay Pacific prohibited the staff from participating or supporting the protest, with a statement by Group CEO Rupert Hogg stating on August 12th, quote, Cathay Pacific Group has a zero tolerance approach to illegal activities. Specifically, in the current context, there will be disciplinary consequences for employees who support or participate in illegal protests. Hogg added, these consequences could be serious and may include termination of employment. Prior to the statement, the Cathay Group seemed to have respected the rights of its employees who participated in the protest, but after a series of escalating tensions from the protesters and the police, including the arrest of a then Cathay Pacific pilot, the airline has had to take a tougher stand as it was already getting pressure from the Chinese authorities. But days later, in a surprise move, Hogg, as well as his deputy, Paul Lu, the chief customer and commercial officer for the airline, stepped down, with some local media reporting that Hogg submitted only his name on the required listing of flight crew to Chinese authorities. In a statement addressing his resignation, Hogg wrote, This is a grave and critical time for our airlines. There is no doubt that our reputation and brand are under immense pressure and this pressure has been building for some weeks, particularly in the all-important market of mainland China. Some of the damage to our brand may have been caused by external factors, but Paul and I, as the most senior members of the leadership team, have been at the forefront of this crisis and must take responsibility for the way it has been managed. Could we have managed things differently? In hindsight, yes. This was followed up by a statement by the airline's chairman, John Slosser, who while praising the work of Hogg and the management team of the airline, said it in a separate statement, quote, however, recent events have called into question Cathay Pacific's commitment to flight safety and security and put our reputation and brand under pressure. This is regrettable as we have always made safety and security our highest priority. As Hogg and Liu stepped down, the airline named its new CEO, Augustus Tang, a veteran of the Swire Group, to take the helm of the airline. Towards the end of the month, Cathay Pacific has released new guidelines for its staff and employees regarding the use of social media and support of the protests, with Tang sending out an email to employees stating, quote, Right now, we are one of the most watched companies in the world. As such, more than ever, each one of us carries a personal responsibility to make sure that our reputation for safety and security is untarnished. Within the last few weeks, the airline has seen the resignation or firing of 20 employees, including Jeremy Tan, a 18-year veteran pilot of Cathay Pacific and pro-democracy legislator, and Rebecca C., the head of the flight attendant union for the Cathay Pacific Group subsidiary, Cathay Dragon, after she was fired for posting a social media posting in support of the protests. The news of C's firing triggered an online petition for an explanation of the action and has drawn the ire of Hong Kong's trade unions who led a protest in Hong Kong's central district calling for the rehiring of the fired employees. The Hong Kong protests have been a political crisis for China and Hong Kong, which is severely impacting the business of those companies that do business in both Hong Kong and China. And while Cathay Pacific has had trying situations in the past, in its 72-year history. This is probably one of the biggest crises the airline has faced. While very few will question the viability of Cathay Pacific as an airline and the prestige of Hong Kong serving as a major international airline hub, the recent crisis is a testament to the influence of China all over Hong Kong affairs as well as Cathay Pacific, which happens to have Air China, a major Chinese carrier, as one of the main stakeholders with a 30% stake of the airline. While there is some underlying tensions, Cathay Pacific is still open for business, but any future events related to the Hong Kong protests, especially escalation of them, will likely affect Cathay Pacific in a negative way. Thank you for watching.
This is another edition of Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and updates from the aviation and travel scene from the Asia Pacific region. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, thank you for watching and have a great day.